Starting off in the number five spot of the best gaming monitors for your Xbox Series X is the Gigabyte M27Q, coming in at a price tag of $299.99. If at any point during the video you want to check out any of these five monitors, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links, but let's talk about the M27Q. Now, as far as resolution, this comes in at 1440p, and as you can see by the price tag, that's a huge value proposition. And while the majority of the monitors on the list are 4K, this is one of the best budget options to get you in the door if you do have a smaller budget for a monitor for your Series X. Now, as far as the size, this comes in at 27 inches. This is capable of 170 hertz and obviously up to 120 hertz at 1440p on your Series X. So it takes full advantage of the refresh rate on the Series X, which is great. Now, ghosting or smearing, whatever you wanna call it here, is very, very impressive with extremely low amounts of smearing, even with faster whips. So if you are someone who plays maybe uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield or more FPS style, faster whipping games, even with games like that that are more competitive, this monitor is absolutely fantastic for that as the smearing, the ghosting is very, very, very low. Now, another very important thing is variable refresh rate. And you might be like, well, 1440p, a lot of those don't have HDMI 2.1, which means sometimes no variable refresh rate. But this monitor has variable refresh rate at 120 hertz at 1440p on this monitor. That's actually very, very impressive for this price. Now for the panel type, this is an IPS panel, which means you're gonna get good colors and great viewing angles. This is really what you want personally, I believe for a Series X or a console in general, an IPS panel is pretty much the sweet spot or an OLED, but those do come with their other problems. Now for brightness here, it's actually fantastic, hitting over 430 nits the typical monitor is around 300 nits. So this is significantly brighter. That adds to the vibrancy of the overall beauty of the panel. This can also do HDR. So if you're someone who does want to game in HDR, well, you can do that here, but this has a color gamut of about 92% of the DCI P3 color gamut, which while that's not unbelievably good, that's still very, very good for the price point. And that's where you're getting higher brightness, a good color gamut, and just a solid panel overall that can take almost full advantage of the Series X up to 1440p, full refresh rate, variable refresh rate, you've got everything. Overall, this is the best budget option to get yourself a 1440p gaming monitor for the Series X. But with that, let's move on to the number four spot, which is the Dell G3223 d coming in at a price tag of $449.99. Now, this is again 1440p. This is the last 1440p gaming monitor on this list, but it now bumps it up to 32 inches. So if you do want a bigger screen size, this is where this comes into play. Now, natively, this hits 165 hertz, but can go up to 120 hertz at 1440p on the Series X. This one has essentially no ghosting. It's extraordinarily low. I'm really big with monitors having very low ghosting. Typically, I never recommend monitors that have higher ghosting. So this is no exception here. It's extremely low. So again, fast paced games, FPS games, more competitive style games, faster whips, all are very, very great. They're more clear in the movement and the motion. Now, as we would expect here, variable refresh rate works at full 120 hertz at 1440p on a Series X, so no problems there. And being an IPS panel, again, great viewing angles and everything that you expect with an IPS panel, as well as having great longevity. So you can legitimately buy this panel and keep it for 10 years if you want to, with no degradation of the panel, no risk of burn-in or anything like that. So. Those are big, big benefits. But the image quality here is one of the reasons that this not only is giving you extra screen size at 32 inches, but this goes up to a whopping 515 nits of brightness in SDR. That is really, really bright. And one benefit to that is, well, if you're in a brighter room, it just looks more pretty. It deflects reflections better. But as well as that, the vibrancy of the image is significantly better with higher and brighter screens. So the image quality the beauty of the panel just is a little bit better here. And I really, really like that. Now, this is also great in HDR, having a wider color gamut covering about 95% of the DCI P3 color gamut. Definitely a very beautiful image for sure. If you do play a lot of games that are more pretty, like Forza Horizon games or Halo, Games like that just look absolutely stunning on this panel. Overall, this is one of the best 32 inch 1440p 120 hertz monitors for the Xbox Series X. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot, which is the Acer Predator XB283K coming in at a price tag of $599.99. Here's where we take full advantage of what the Series X has to offer now, having a 4K resolution. 
The screen size comes in at 28 inches and natively hits 144 hertz, but obviously is capable of hitting 120 hertz at full 4K with the Series X with HDMI 2.1, but that's like a given. Ghosting here is just shy of being absolutely crystal clear. This is truly impressive, as are most of these 4K IPS gaming monitors. Very, very impressive. So again, fast-paced games, no problems at all. Variable refresh rate here works at 4K at 120 hertz, again, because of HDMI 2.1. And really, I just had no issues at all with the Series X and this monitor. It's just a very flawless experience, as are all of the monitors on this list, but this one in specific is really the perfect sweet spot for spending just enough to take full advantage, get 4K, all your variable refresh rate, 120 hertz. This is where that price point, it's still very low, but you're still getting everything that you want. Yeah, really, really good. Now the brightness is down a little bit when compared to some of the other monitors on this list. This hits about 360 nits in SDR. However, the good part of this is if you are into playing HDR, like games in HDR or watching content in HDR, this is where this monitor shines, going up to a whopping 540 nits of brightness. So if you do seem like sometimes you need a little bit more brightness, just switch this thing over to HDR, play some games in HDR, and the brightness is much, much greater there. Now the color gamut isn't crazy. It hits 90% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. That's not absolutely insane, but the image is still very, very pretty, partially due to that resolution paired with the great brightness in HDR. And it's tuned very well for HDR. So overall, I really like this monitor. And I would say overall, this is the best and cheapest option for a 4K gaming monitor for your Series X. But if you have a little bit of a bigger option, number two and one are awesome. So let's move on to the number two spot, which is the Gigabyte M32U. Coming in at a price tag of $729.99, this is a 4K resolution at a now 32 inch screen size. So you get that larger screen size. This is what I think the sweet spot is, especially if you wanna do some split screen playing. 32 inches is big enough to do that if you have your friend and you uh, sitting fairly close to that panel. Now this hits 144 hertz natively and goes up to 120 hertz at 4K with the Series X. Now ghosting here is absolutely crystal clear. It is still to this day one of the best and lowest ghosting that I've ever seen on like basically any monitor paired with a lot of the very high-end LG panels as well as the uh, OLED gaming monitors that we've seen from LG and Asus made their variation of LG's panel, but really truly as good as those. It's very, very surprising. So fast paced games, fantastic. Variable refresh rate works at 4K at 120 Hertz with a Series X through HDMI 2.1, as we would expect. This is an IPS panel, so you get the great viewing angles, colors, and everything, the reliability that you get with an IPS panel. In SDR, this hits 395 nits, so around 400 nits of brightness, which is a good brightness. In HDR, it bumps it up a little bit at 450 nits. So that is a good brightness up on the SDR brightness compared to the last monitor, down on the HDR brightness when compared to the last monitor, but a better middle ground. Although I do say I do prefer the last monitor's HDR experience just because that 540 nits is fantastic, but I absolutely love the massive 32 inch screen size. Now for color, this covers 90% of the DCI-P3 color space. If you do want a lot more colors, you will have to go with that number one spot and you get a lot more everything in the number one spot. Overall, this is the best and cheapest choice for a 32 inch screen size capable of 4K at 120 Hertz for your Series X. But with that, let's move on to the number one spot, which is the best monitor for the Series X, which is the Cooler Master GP27U. Coming in at a price tag of $869.99. This is a 4K resolution, a 27 inch screen size. This is 160 Hertz natively, but maxes out at 120 Hertz at 4K on your Series X, we expect that. Ghosting here is exceedingly low, as low as the previous monitor, which is exceptional. This is just exceptionally low ghosting, fast paced games, anything you wanna play, you're not gonna have problems with smearing here. Variable refresh rate works with the Series X at full 4K, 120 Hertz. And this is an IPS panel, but not just a typical IPS panel. This is an IPS panel that is mini LED lit. And if you don't know what that is, I'll get into it. Very, very special though as well as having a quantum dot layer in it, which increases that color gamut, making it an even beautiful -er display. It's stunning. Okay, so let's talk about that. The brightness first. In SDR, this hits a whopping 570 nits of brightness, which is just a very, very high brightness. The vibrancy, the beauty of the panel, as long with the clarity is 
just stunning. But this has local dimming. What local dimming is, is it will dim the backlight so you can have much deeper black, similar to an OLED, which none of the other monitors on the list are capable of doing that. The blacks are significantly more similar to an OLED than it would be a VA panel or an IPS panel or anything. They're very deep in black. The image quality is amazing and you have no risk of burn-in. So in SDR, without being an HDR, if you turn local dimming on, this goes up to a whopping 1,390 nits. That is unbelievably bright. That's literally like you can put your monitor outside and still see it perfectly fine. Just absolutely ridiculous. But where I prefer local dimming to be on is in HDR. In HDR, this goes to a more reasonable, about 430 nits of brightness, but that's just full screen brightness. That's not the highlights, which probably are going over a thousand nits. So a beautiful HDR experience. If you're into HDR, you're getting extremely deep blacks, incredibly bright highlights, and the overall dynamic range is a true HDR experience and it is absolutely stunning. But then the color gamut, that's very important for HDR and well, this brings it here, covering 98% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. That's a lot of color coverage paired with the black levels, paired with the brightness. This is a very real and true HDR experience that's extraordinarily hard to find in the monitor community. Even OLEDs really don't do HDR even close to as well as this, in my opinion because they don't have the brightness. The OLEDs just don't have the brightness now, and I would pick this monitor 100 times over when compared to an OLED due to this panel literally being able to last over 10 years where OLEDs just aren't going to last over three years without significant burn-in. I absolutely love this monitor. So it has 576 local dimming zones, and in that 27-inch screen size, that gives you quite a bit of zones. It's constantly dimming areas of the screen that are darker and deeper in their black levels, and it's just the most beautiful experience, especially on a Series X, where a lot of the games are just beautiful. So overall, if you want the best gaming monitor that is most beautiful, it's capable, and it takes full advantage of the Series X, the Cooler Master 27 GPU brings it. Again, if you want to check out any of the five monitors in this video, there's Amazon links below, pretty US, UK, Canada, and international links all five hit a fantastic price point and they fit a category. If you don't have much money around the 300 bucks, the first one's the one to get, but if you want a larger screen size, but still are okay with 1440p, the number four spot is the way to go. If you wanna take full advantage of it, both the three, two, and one spots take full advantage being 4K, 120 hertz, they all have variable refresh rate. The number three spot is around 27 or 28 inches, takes full advantage. The number two spot is again at 4K with a 32 inch screen size, but both of those two are very, very beautiful. But if you want the true most beautiful experience of all, well, the number one spot is the way to go. One of my favorite monitors of, well, the last three years. It's truly an amazing monitor and very underrated in the community. All right, this is Consumer Tech Review and I'll see you guys in the next video.